Hi guys, so today I'm going to go over a flip through of this like wannabe um, mini album. I need to put some more glue on that. Um, mini album style um, flip book. So I have the, the book closed um, by some like, I think this is like cotton seam binding from um, Walmart. I do want to get my hands on some of that like thin almost like a satiny kind, vintage looking, but anyway. So, let's see. As you can see, I use different flowers. Um, Prima, these are Prima, two different Primas layered on top of each other. Um, then I did some stickles in the center. Um, this little, these little, these little glass pieces already came on the, um, the flower. Um, then I used three, this whole book I tried Maggie Holmes Flourish Collection, like the papers. I did three layers, these three layers, um, this one, the, the yellow, and then the peacock one, were inspired by um, Frank Garcia. Um, but I went a step further and I stitched it with some gold thread and then did a layer of tulle. Um, and you can see that the bits shake and make a beautiful noise. Just a bunch of sequins and some like light pink seed beads um, it was shaking all over and then once I started adding stuff you know they kind of got limited to where they were um, but yeah these are just some die cuts little this was a spring swap so did a little bunny and a little butterfly stuff like that then for the binding I just did a lovely day sticker in gold foil um, so yeah, let's get to it. So it opens up like that. Um, this is the first page. Um, I did, I spelled out letter, um, and it opens up. I just have it tied down with washi. Um, there's a little note in there for her. Um, then this opens up like this. It's magnetized. Um, I was going to map these ones, um, but then want to make... If you make the paper too thick, the magnets won't work. So I didn't think about that beforehand and I should have like matted it, then did the magnet, but oh well. But so the magnet still works. Um, and on the inside I have some of my um, do-it-yourself mini file folder embellishments. I did a video on these. I will link that down below. And it just closes back up with the magnet. Then over here, um, I used the little um, deer die cut from the Flourish Ephemera pack. So cute, right? Um, just backed it um, with two little like tag things that are also part of the Ephemera pack. And I went a little step further and I added this like little pearl trim to make it a necklace and added these flowers to give it that oomph. Um, this background piece um, is like wire stuff from Hobby Lobby um, it's a little it's more stiff than the, the actual ribbon so I liked I needed it to stay in a circle so I'd use the stiffer version um, then um, the binding on this is like the the old school binding that's like so confusing to me I just cannot get it right anyway I can see hot glue it's driving me nuts anyway um, so I made it so that the page you know, you could get stuff out of this. Um, so it's like this. Um, these are the little chips um, that I showed you guys on my spring projects video. It's just got like springy uh, pieces from the Target little packs that they were selling. Um, I will link this down below the video in the tutorial where I found this from. So that just slides in this pocket. Then on this page, um, you can see part of that little, the other side. I just did a little pocket, did some, um, what's it called, washi tape to make it look like that's what's holding the pocket down, even though we know it's not. And I just puffed up this little ephemera piece, um, did some sequins as the center, some trim, and then lots of little um, ephemera from the, the pack. Then on this side, um, I did the binding a little thicker right here versus like this one. Um, not on purpose. 
like I said, the binding for this is confusing, so I'm going to do a different way that I saw Lily share. I'm going to do my normal books, but, you know, with a different binding. Um, then on this one, I, made, I, did, I did these paper rosettes, some are vellum. Um, just a simple, you know, cut out heart and then some liquid pearls on the insides of the rosette. Um, oh, some, glue. some trim on the edge and then on the top, it's supposed to stay like this. Um, I put this little tab on here just so this tab and this pearl trim so that it doesn't slide down all the way so that you can still tell that something's in there. They're just stickers. Um, then on the next page, I forgot where I got these stickers, but they're super pretty. They're like puffy, I don't know, they sc scream spring, so I had to include them. Some Hobby Lobby trim. And she could just, you know, rip this off right off the page. Then over here, I have um, a little popped up embellishment, um, those banners that I've been making. I just put some thickers on it that spells out tags because that is exactly what's in here. I used different tag punches that I have um, and put little eyelets on them and all different trims just to make it, you know, fun. And then um, I did use the seam binding before I put the paper on. So you put the seam binding on first and then, you know, the paper covers it up. You can see it right here, right here. And then the back, I continued with that little um, bunny. I just brought it to the back and my Made With Love by Craft Purge. So yeah, that's it. Um, let me know if you guys want a tutorial on this. Obviously, I'm not gonna like decorate all of this, like everything, but I can show you the base of this book. Um, it is just cardstock. Um, it looks like a mini album, but it does not have chipboard, so you don't have all the steps of chipboard. And yeah, um, let me know if you guys would like to see something like that and then I'll make a video for you. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video.